Up until today, Toyota has been continuing their competition with Tesla on who gets to be on the top of the electric vehicle market, saying that Tesla isn't a real company back in 2020. According to Toyota's CEO, Akio Toyoda, what Toyota has is a real kitchen and a real chef. They aren't making something real. People are just buying the recipe. With a shady remark, Toyota still continues to do everything in his power to be the number one in the electric vehicle market. But before we get started on Toyota's insane plans to surpass Tesla over the next decade, let's take a look at how Toyota and Tesla went from being partners to enemies in the car industry. Welcome to Empire Investing, where we'll be sharing the latest in stock market news, technology, and innovative investment strategies for aspiring millionaires and billionaires. If this is your first time watching our channel, please consider subscribing to see more videos just like this, and let's get started. Back in 2010, Akio Toyoda invested $50 million in an electric car maker that we are all familiar with, Tesla. Together with Tesla's owner, Elon Musk, they formed a partnership to further develop new technology. Toyota would like to learn from the challenging spirit, quick decision-making, and flexibility that Tesla has. Akio Toyoda. This partnership created a limited-edition Tesla-powered RAV4 EV that cost $50,000, had 100 miles of driving range, and was only sold in California. Although almost 2,500 cars were sold, the partnership continues. The main reason for this partnership was to meet the California Air Resources Board's EV mandates and for Tesla's revenue and battery production to expand. The partnership went smoothly, but in 2014, the partnership ended after a clash of cultures, which Toyota described to be the main barrier of the partnership. Toyota's approach is a more conservative, safety-first style of engineering, while Tesla is more of a risk-taker, coming from Silicon Valley. By the end of 2014, Toyota sold a portion of its stake, and then two years later, sold all of its stakes. According to Toyota's spokesman, Ryo Sakai, our development partnership with Tesla ended a while ago. Since there has not been any new developments on that front, we decided it was time to sell the remaining stake. Ryo Sakai. As Tesla and other EV companies continued to rise in late 2020, Tesla topped Toyota in market cap. Had they continued their partnership, they would have had 34,600% in return of investments at around $17 billion at the time. With the sudden turn of events, Akido Toyota stated, We are losing when it comes to the share price, but when it comes to the products, we have a full menu that would be chosen by customers. This statement wasn't just out of confidence despite losing to an electric car company. Toyota plans to have a wide variety of EVs, hybrid vehicles, internal combustion engine vehicles, and hydrogen-powered cars. He believes that whoever can offer all types of vehicles will be ultimately the winner in the end. Explaining that with his product mix, he will win in the long term. In late 2020, where Tesla and other EV companies continued to rise, Toyota warns that this EV shift will cause big problems leading to the collapse of the car industry. They explained that a total shift to EVs would cost an estimated $135 to $358 billion in cash only. Toyota continued to argue that EVs are not exactly environmentally friendly, because electricity is generated by coal and natural gas. The more EVs we build, the worse carbon dioxide gets. Although this statement is somewhat true, this has already been debunked by several studies. A study from the Union of Concerned Scientists explained that although the production of EVs and electricity emit carbon, it is still much less than internal combustion engines. Despite Toyota's attempt to scare the world and outsell Tesla, Toyota has invested in EVs. To show how stubborn Toyota is in beating Tesla, he also invested in hydrogen vehicles. But in the attempt to overthrow Tesla's throne, is investing in hydrogen vehicles a good choice for Toyota? For many, hydrogen is the fuel of the future, being the most abundant element in the world. Despite that, the technology compared to EVs is extremely inefficient. Let's take a quick look at this chart that compares the pathways between the two. 
At the top, we have the generated electricity, which moves down the ultimate energy output. In hydrogen, each step of the process causes the electricity to diminish. AC-DC conversion leaves 95%, then the electrolysis leaves 75%, then it trickles down from compression, transportation, and then to fuel cell, leaving only 23% of the total generated electricity and even lower on the other end at 19%. On the other hand, EVs would still have 69% of the starting electricity amount by the process itself. According to Elon Musk, hydrogen cars are extremely dumb. Even the chief engineer of Toyota, Mirai FZV, Yoshi Kazu Tanaka agrees. Elon Musk is right. It's better to charge the electric car directly by plugging it in. Yoshi Kazu Tanaka. Despite this, Toyota continues to invest in hydrogen cars. According to Toyota chairman Takeshi Uchi Yamada, we don't really see an adversary zero sum relationship between the EV and the hydrogen car. We're not about to give up on hydrogen electric fuel cell technology at all. Takeshi Uchi Yamada. Along with hydrogen vehicles, Toyota is also introducing solid state batteries, which potentially could multiply the driving range of electric vehicles. Toyota started the development of this battery way back in 2012. This battery would then be called the sodium ion battery. With sodium being the sixth most available element in the earth, it is lightweight and cheap. Let's compare EV's lithium ion batteries with Toyota's solid state sodium ion batteries. To quickly review solid state batteries, we'll compare the major differences between today's EV batteries and Toyota's. Lithium-ion batteries usually have an electrolytic solution inside the batteries. Solid-state batteries replace that solution with a solid electrolyte, which makes the latter more energy-dense because it takes up less space than the electrolytic solution. Toyota claims that with solid-state batteries, you'd be fully charged for 10 minutes and have 310 miles of driving range. This may seem promising, but the development of this battery is still far from being complete, but Toyota sees this development long-term. However, they have started to release EV models in 2020 and will continue on from 2025. Although they only plan to sell 500,000 diverse vehicles, whereas Tesla plans to sell a few million of one, this plan of Toyota confirms their previous statement that they will come out on top by showing diversity in their lineup. In 2021, they have just increased the stakes by announcing plans to invest more than $13.5 billion by 2030, expecting to become a viable alternative to lithium-ion batteries, and they still stand at the top of all companies that are developing solid-state batteries. With the continuous rise of Tesla in the EV market, the question remains, will Toyota be able to defeat Tesla? Toyota's plans for EVs are getting bigger and more expensive. As we've talked about earlier, they have invested more than $13.5 billion in battery technology alone and have announced in December that they will invest more than $17.6 billion instead, a dramatic increase compared to their initial statement. With both companies continuing their development in EV, we might see Toyota coming up on top. There's even an ongoing rumor that we might see a potential partnership in the works. And that's all for today. Do you think Toyota will be able to defeat Tesla? Join the discussion in the comments below. If you liked the video, please click the like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video.